No government ever voluntarily reduces itself in size. So government programs once launched never disappear. Actually, a government bureau is the nearest thing to eternal life we'll ever see on this earth. More from Ronald Reagan shortly. 40 years later, this from Donald Trump at the Economic Club of New York on September 5th. I will create a government efficiency commission task with conducting a complete financial and performance audit of the entire federal government and making recommendations for drastic reforms. The former president wants Elon Musk to head up the commission. It's a very good idea and deserves more attention. As the first order of business, this commission will develop an action plan to totally eliminate fraud and improper payments within six months. This will save trillions of dollars, trillions. Trillions is a stretch, but there's no doubt a huge amount of money that could be saved merely by fixing loopholes in programs that invite fraud. Instead of the 87,000 IRS agents going after middle America, let's go after the hundreds of billions of dollars of COVID fraud that we know exist. The government paid tens of billions of dollars in fraudulent unemployment benefits and paycheck protection grants during the pandemic. According to the Internal Revenue Service, in one instance, a California prison inmate allegedly claimed more than $550 million in COVID-era employee retention tax credits. It's remarkable that a gang member serving a life sentence for murder in state prison could orchestrate not one but two criminal schemes designed to make money for himself and his co-conspirators. It certainly is, but the ERTC will no doubt continue to add to the deficit with dubious payouts, and there are countless other programs that run on autopilot with little evidence that they yield any results. And lift off. Go Starlink, go DTC. With SpaceX, Mr. Musk has demonstrated how a private business can do better than NASA in sending rockets into space. He's seen the waste and inefficiency of government firsthand, and he could no doubt call on many people from the private economy to help. And Elon, because he's not very busy, has agreed to head that task force. The shame is that the US hasn't taken a detailed look at the routine follies of government in decades. I am pleased to present to you, Mr. President, with the private sector survey's summary report. And with your weightlifting, that is not too heavy, but otherwise... <laughs> The last serious look at government was the Grace Commission, established by Ronald Reagan in the 1980s. Oh, I was just going to say, Ed, you read these this afternoon, I'll take them tonight. <laughs> Led by American industrialist J. Peter Grace, it made more than 2,000 recommendations to save $424 billion over three years. That's in 1984 dollars, too and $115 billion would be saved by the administration immediately without Congress. These 2,478 cost-cutting, revenue-enhancing recommendations cannot only significantly reduce the size of our federal deficit, but can be achieved without raising taxes, without weakening America's needed defense buildup, without in any way harming necessary social welfare programs, and finally, without the need to further study opportunities to cut costs and reduce the deficit. Bill Clinton, in his new Democrat phase, tried something similar by appointing then Vice President Al Gore on a mission to, quote, reinvent government. Today I am sending to Congress a significant package of spending cuts totaling $10 billion based on the National Performance Review and fulfilling a promise I made to further reduce the deficit by spending cuts in that amount, sending, excuse me, spending cuts in that amount to Congress that could be passed in this calendar year. It did some good, such as proposing a reform of federal air traffic control. These cuts are part of our commitment to put our economic house in order. But the Clinton administration abandoned the effort amid union opposition and Mr Gore's desire to appeal to his party's left as he sought the presidential nomination in 2000. For the same service that you have right now, trillions of dollars is wasted and gone and nobody knows where it went. A federal leviathan that now commands nearly 25% of the US economy and extends its reach into every corner of American life is in desperate need of reform. The pro-democratic press will scoff and even some conservatives will claim that nothing could be done without reform of Social Security and Medicare. But as we wait for the fiscal crisis that may be required to galvanize entitlement reform, there is plenty that could be done to cut spending and reduce government waste. One of my favorite stories about government had to do with a, 
An employee who sat at a desk and papers came to his desk, he read them and determined where they were to go and initialed them and sent them on. And one day a classified document came there, but it came to him, so he read it, initialed it, and sent it on. Twenty-four hours later, it came back to him with a note attached that said, you weren't supposed to see this, erase your initials, and initial the erasure. 